scientist, I'm a physician scientist, I'm a clinically trained hepatologist who also has had a large basic science laboratory for the last uh, quarter century looking at how the liver handles drugs. In general and traditionally, in order to get a new drug to the patients who need it, you need to prove that the drug works. And traditionally, that has been the major effort, the major cost, the major time in developing a drug. But we've learned over time how to make drugs more effective and how to evaluate the effectiveness of drugs better. And also with new ideas like personalized medicine, we're finding ways to be able to identify patients with a certain disease who are more likely to benefit from a drug. And as a result, we're able to show a drug works in much uh, shorter periods of time and with great cost savings. The problem is these advances in understanding how to make drugs work better have not been matched by an understanding of how to make drugs safer. So what's increasingly happening now is the Food and Drug Administration is saying to a company, yes, we believe your drug works, but we're not sure it's safe. And so companies have to do long, um, large, and very costly clinical trials, which prolongs the time that the patients are without the medicines they need, the new medicines, and also drives up the costs. And what's particularly a problem are what are uh, rare or so-called idiosyncratic drug toxicities. That is, a drug could be safe for thousands of patients, but one in a thousand or one in 10,000 patients could have a violent and potentially fatal uh, reaction from that drug, even though it's been entirely safe in everybody else. And we don't have the ability to predict or even understand why this rare, these rare toxicities occur. The goal is really to solve this problem of drug safety, particularly the rare or idiosyncratic toxicities. And we really need new approaches to be able to do this. And we can no longer have silos working piecemeal on this problem. So our institute is the only one of its kind in the United States that's really bringing together uh, scientists that have the expertise and interest to really solve this problem. So we're, uh, of course, beautifully located to bring together the scientists from University of North Carolina, uh, the entire system, and Duke University, as well as Wake Forest in the local area. But we're also collaborating with academic scientists from around the country and, in fact, outside the country. We're also working with scientists at the Food and Drug Administration, as well as scientists uh, within industry. And again, the idea is to get everybody together to think of new and creative ways to solve this problem.